Synopsis of the Books of the Bible. 2 Corinthians. By J. N. Darby. New Testament. 2 Corinthians. Chapter 10. Paul's Connections with the Corinthians, the Truth and Authority of His Apostleship, the Principle on which He Acted. 2 Corinthians 10. The Apostle returns to the subject which preoccupied him his connections with the Corinthians, and the truth of his apostleship, which was questioned by those who seduced them, throwing contempt on his person. He was weak, they said, when present, and his speech contemptible, though bold when absent, his letters being boastful, but his bodily presence contemptible. I beseech you, says the Apostle, by the meekness and gentleness of Christ showing thus the true character of his own meekness and humility when among them, not to compel me to be bold among you, as I think of being with regard to some who pretend that I walk after the flesh. The strength of the war that he waged against evil was founded on spiritual weapons, with which he brought down all that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. This is the principle on which he acted, to seek to bring to obedience all who hearken to God, and then severity to all disobedience when once obedience should be fully established, and those who would hearken were restored to order. Precious Principle. The power and the guidance of the Spirit acting in full, and with all patience, to restore to order, and to a walk worthy of God, carrying the remonstrances of grace to the utmost, until all those who would hearken to them and willingly obey God were restored, and then to assert divine authority in judgment and discipline, with the weight which was added to the apostolic action by the conscience and common action of all those who had been brought back to obedience. Observe, that the apostle refers to his personal authority as an apostle, but that he uses it in patience, for he possessed it for the purpose of edification and not for destruction, in order to bring back to obedience and uprightness all those who would hearken, and thus, preserving Christian unity in holiness, he clothes the apostolic authority with the power of the universal conscience of the assembly, guided by the Spirit, so far as there was a conscience at work. He then declares that such as he is in his letters, such shall they find him when he is present, and he contrasts the conduct of those who took advantage of his labors, beguiling a people who had already become Christians, in order to stir them up against him, with his own conduct in going where Christ had not yet been known, seeking to bring souls to the knowledge of a Savior of whom they were ignorant. Also, he hoped that, when he visited the Corinthians, his ministry would be enlarged among them by their increase of faith in order that he might go on beyond them to evangelize regions that still lay in darkness. But he who gloried, let him glory in the Lord.